welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm Harold and uh, this is part two of the drill press oil can casting video and I can guarantee you this this part will be more exciting than the first part so remember about me warning you about Mr. Bozo he's still with us so don't and when you watch this don't give up on it until the end there will be a surprise there. Okay? So let's just get on with it. Alright, you guys are on your own. I can't uh, be cameraman and redneck boundary man all at the same time. So you'll see what you'll see. Well, we know that's a fail. The, uh, <laughs> the stuff scooted over a little bit when I was moving it, and I didn't realize it. So it made a thin spot and the aluminum went right out the, the crack. And I doubt we've got anything at all there worth a the darn. I'm going to have to improve. Well, I'm going to have to make some new uh, coat and drag there. Because those are totally worn out. I've had them since the 70's. And they've been abused a lot. I think the wood's about half rotten and cracked. and. And I don't know Matthias Wandel to, to make something like that, so it'll, it'll be a hard job for me, but dang it all, I'm stopping casting for a while. In all the excitement of getting the mold out here and get it set up, I didn't notice that it had slid. Forward some, which missed the line of my uh, sprue and caused me a great deal of grief there so undoubtedly nothing's going to be any good because you can see there's the most amount of aluminum right down there tough break for me well this was supposed to be the product of my project but as you can see it's not I know Mr. Pete's going to flunk me out of shop class sure as anything Alright, let's get a look at the crap in the sand. I'm sure whatever's there is cool. You're not going to believe this, I'm sure. It almost looks like the real thing. A little burn. I'll let that cool off and I'll clean it up. Maybe I'll just get a D and shop 
Maybe Mr. P would give me a D instead of an F or worse. I don't know. I can't be impressed him too much. Okay, so let's look at the results of this casting. And I don't know why it looks so burned. I've got, I think maybe it's still contamination from all the soft drink cans that I melted in there. It left a, a paint coating and all over my crucible. And I don't think I've ever managed to get it all out. But let's try and take a look at what we've got here. Roll this guy up here where I can stand in front of it and look at it. Let me get rid of all that stuff there. Turn it. Okay. I don't know why I got the menu on the screen there for a minute, but we've got here basically a casting that I can clean up and it and it's usable. I lost the definition of the little little holes down in here. These holes should have been empty but when I moved the top of the mold there accidentally well I guess they filled in with sand so did this hole right here because it was empty and this guy this guy come out you know this guy here come out pretty good minimal machining on him a little here and you know a little around the edges it had some shrinkage back here in the back, quite a lot of shrinkage as you can see along in here and why it's got that color I don't know this guy is not quite as clean I'm going to have to machine off this spot right there and the bottom of it's pretty pitiful looking in places got a lot of flash around the sides of it there but I guess a few minutes of cleaning up and it might it might look okay and maybe I can get a D on the project. We'll see. Alright, so I took it over there and I, the wire brush seems to take off the odd looking color. I guess that's soot from uh, me setting my mold <laughs> on fire. Uh, but everything else seems to fit really, really good and the only thing I can see wrong is that hole is too small for my drill press it might fit everybody else's but it won't fit mine and there's a little piece I didn't file out of there yet down in the bottom but uh, yeah I can make one of these and when I go back and get my uh, <laughs> get my molding stuff my casting materials tools a little better in order then uh, if I don't make any mistakes on the way I use them I should be able to make reasonably good castings I did a long time ago I just I got out of the out of the habit not in practice not as good as Mr. Pete's but hey it'll work well you've heard me say a lot of times that uh, YouTube's like a free college and in a lot of ways it is, but you've got to got to be aware. If you're going to learn how to do something on YouTube, look at five or six or ten or how many people that you can stand to look at showing you how to do it because I'd say maybe at least two out of three or three out of four don't know what they're doing. So you've got to sort of, you know, weed through the, the chaff to get to the wheat. For instance, if you wanted to really know about how to make Petrobond, you'd go see Sand Remmer his channel he knows how to do it he's an expert at casting done it his whole life and I I looked into this to see about you know what would it take to make some Petrobond and I came across one channel where this guy was going to show us how to make Petrobond and he made common ordinary homemade green sand he got some cat litter and crushed it up into a fine powder and he got some play sand and he mixed it together and that's common ordinary green sand. There's no petroleum <laughs> products in that. He didn't put a drop of oil in there at all. But he kept calling it Petrobond. So just because some guy goes on the internet and decides he's an expert doesn't mean that's true. If you look at the disclaimer on this channel, it says uh, the person you see here don't know what the heck he's doing and probably using the wrong tools. And if you do what I do, you're probably going to die or at least hurt a lot. So. Well, let's go see if we got Bubba hanging around. 
So one morning, Bobby Sue got up on the wrong side of the bed, and she gave Bubba a hard time all morning. She gave him a hard time at lunch. Nothing Bubba could do was right. She just gave him a hard time all day long. Long toward the evening, Bubba just about had all he could stand. He says, you know, he says, you remind me of my ex-wife. She comes up and says, well, what do you mean? You never told me you was married before. Bubba says, I wasn't. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.